At Zebra, we understand the world's gone mobile. You have Android and iOS hosts. Let us tell you how our SDKs meet your needs. We understand when you develop an app, it's all about time to market. So we make developing apps easy. Sample source codes available to speed up your development times. We have online Google searchable documentation. And when you develop an app, it can leverage 100% of the scanner's capabilities. When you develop an app, it also works on all like scanners. So if you develop one for one cordless scanner from Zebra, that same one will work with the other cordless scanner from Zebra. And when I say you have complete control of your scanner, that includes the ability to capture all scanned barcode data, command and control your scanner from disabling and enabling the scan engine, controlling the beepers in the LED, the pager motor, virtual tether. You have remote management capabilities, querying asset tracking information statistics, parameter configuration firmware update. And if it's the Android SDK, you also have full scale support in the MP7000. To give you a feel for this functionality, I'm gonna give you a demo using the scanner control app and the CS6080 Bluetooth cordless scanner. The scanner control app launches to an industry first, a single barcode that lets you pair your scanner to your host in one step. Just scan the barcode. Now I have full control over my scanner. I can change the beeper settings. Play with the LEDs. You can turn on the green LED, the amber LED, or in some cases the blue LED, or the red LED, or you can turn them off. Or one of my favorite features, you can turn on the aim guide remotely. So I'm not going to touch the scanner with my physical hand. I'm just going to touch the application. Then I can pull the trigger remotely as if I was touching the device, but all I'm doing is putting my finger on the app and the data automatically shows up in the data view. If you need other sample barcodes to scan it off the screen to show you how easy it is, they're built in. If you have an MP7000 attached via a USB cable, you can see the scale data here. You also have access to more advanced capability on the advanced tab, such as asset information, model number, it's a CS6080SR standard range device, the serial number, the firmware version, the data manufacturer, the 16th of October, 2020, the scanner name, and it's at factory defaults right now. In this case, I've attached a different scanner. It's the DS8178 series. You can look at the battery statistics. I can tell you the data manufacturer of the battery. It was the 11th of December, 2019. I can tell you the design capacity of the battery, 2,450 milliamps. I can tell you the battery life. The state of health is, it's 100%. It's as good as new. Charge cycles consumed are zero. I can enable virtual tether. This is a way of tracking your scanner. So if it gets a certain distance away from you, you'll know. Let's say that you've got an employee who's going on a lunch break and they've got their CS6080 in their pocket. They might not realize they've walked away with the scanning device, but as it gets to a certain range away, you get an alarm, a very attention grabbing alarm. And not only that, you can also turn it on such that the host gives you feedback. So now I'm gonna turn on host feedback here. And when I simulate the alarm, not only will the scanner give me feedback, the host tablet will vibrate, give you a beep and pop up a message. We also give you the ability to update firmware from your host application. If you'd like to play yourself with the Scanner Control app, there's two versions. There's an Android version and an iOS version. If you're interested in the Android version, do a browser search on the Scanner Control app dash Google Play. If you're interested in the iOS version, do a browser search on Scanner Control app dash Apple app. The Android version supports both corded and cordless, and for corded, it supports the MP7000 and scale. The iOS version supports cordless only. We make adopting our SDKs easy. From a single site to download our Android SDK from our support site and our iOS SDK from our support site, to sample apps that show you what's possible. Free source code for those sample apps on a GitHub repository, online Google searchable documentation, 
how-to videos on YouTube, and if you'd like to learn about our other software tools, one site to go to to see everything, www.zebra.com forward slash scanner software. Our SDK support a number of development tools. For Android, our development environment is Android Studio and Xamarin. The scanner SDK sample apps are written in Java and C Sharp, and our source code is available on GitHub. For iOS, our development environment is Xcode and Xamarin. The sample apps are written in Objective-C, C Sharp, and coming in 2022, Swift. Sample source code is available on GitHub. Our supported interfaces vary by operating system. Android supports both corded and wireless. For corded, we support something called USB Snappy, which even supports an MP7000, which is a bioptic device, with a scale. Wirelessly, we support both Bluetooth Classic and Bluetooth Low Energy, or BLE. For iOS, we support only wireless connections, both Bluetooth Low Energy and Bluetooth MFI. Our mobile SDKs support the last three operating system releases. For Android, that's Android 11, 10, and 9. For iOS, it's iOS 14, 13, and 12. Now, this is a very dynamic area, so for an up-to-date list on supported operating systems, visit www.zebra.com forward slash scanner software. For more information on these software tools and others, visit www.zebra.com forward slash scanner software.